Coming up is a 30 minute no repeat full body strength training workout with dumbbells. We have a total of 24 different exercises for this total body comprehensive workout routine. We'll target the legs, booty, core, and arms. Grab a set of moderate to heavy dumbbells and a mat, and let's do this thing. All right, let's get started with our warm up. Let's bring those feet nice and wide. Two big deep breaths to start. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, let it go. Again, inhale, hands up. Exhale, let it go. Let's go into a side body stretch. Reach one hand up and over, eyes gaze up to the sky. As you stretch out the ribs, the side, waking up. Whenever you're push and play on this, whether it's in the morning or at night, it's just nice to kind of stretch out all of the aches and the kinks, getting it all out before we start working today. So no repeats, you're gonna have different exercises pretty much this entire way through. So keep your eyes and your ears open and on because we're gonna be changing it up every single time. We're gonna go ahead and open up the chest and then press those elbows and wrists together. Waking up the shoulders, also squeezing the chest. Good, from here, and then big arm circles, bring it back. We're gonna be following a 45-15 format. So 45 seconds of work followed by 15 seconds of rest. Reverse, bring it the other way. We'll do 12 exercises, take a one minute break and then do 12 more exercises and then you will be done. Let's go ahead and go into a four point squat. Reach those hands up to the sky. Lead with the chest as you bring those hands down to the toes. Bend into those legs, nice deep squat. Hands come up and then stand up all the way down, feeling the stretch in the back of the legs, and then waking up the glutes and the quads. Keep those heels heavy. Start to connect to your core. And rest. From here, we'll go into a reverse lunge. So go ahead, step it back. We'll take a torso twist. So you're gonna twist to the same side as your front leg, waking up those oblique muscles which are responsible for rotation, side body movement. Try to drop that back knee as low as you can, creating that 90 degree angle. And last one here. And rest. From here, let's go into an all fours position, waking up the spine. Stack the shoulders on the wrists, hips on the knees. Inhale, arch the spine, eyes gaze forward. Lift the tailbone up, and then on your exhale, round the spine, chin to chest, pelvis tucks under. Again, keep doing this at your own time. Inhale, and exhale. Let's go one more. And exhale. Good, flatten your back. Let's go ahead and tuck those toes, downward facing dog. Drive those heels down towards the floor. Go ahead and pedal out those heels for a calf stretch. And then from here, let's go ahead and lift our right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Feel that nice stretch. Bring it to the outside of the right hand for a runner's lunge. And bring yourself back to a plank. Let's repeat, downward dog. Left leg comes up and then step it forward. Outside of the left hand. Good, from here, let's go ahead, downward facing dog again. Walk those hands back towards your toes. Roll on up to a stand, one vertebrae at a time. Let's just wake up our legs real quick for some sumo wide squats. Heels in, toes out, chest is open. We're here for four, three, and two, and one. All right, let's go ahead and go into our first exercise. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my heavy weights. We just got basic dumbbell squats. So feet are gonna be shoulder distance apart. Dumbbells by your side, sink into your imaginary chair, chest is open, and then stand up with control. We take off in three, two, one, let's go. Drop it down and up. Now something to keep in mind is like, we're doing each exercise just one round. So you really wanna maximize the move as much as you can. Choose a weight that will challenge you within these 45 seconds. Really focus on form above all else. If you have a, a few different sets of dumbbells, we should be going pretty heavy for our lower body. Next up, we'll be doing upper body, so you'll be able to lighten the weight on that one. Three, 
two, one, and rest. Good. Let's drop down to our lighter set. We have Arnold presses coming your way. So palms are gonna face in, rotate, press up overhead, come back in with control. Three, two, one, let's go. Biceps come right next to the ears. Elbows come nice and straight. You can take a staggered stance with those feet or just keep them shoulder distance. Nice straight spine. Try not to lock out your knees, keep them soft. You got 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Good, reverse lunges are next. I'm gonna try for my heavy weights just because we have only one round. So you're gonna take a big step back, drop that back knee as low as you can, and go ahead, switch sides. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Now keep the shoulders right on top of those hips. Feet are on two different railroad tracks. Find your balance, find your core. Eyes gazing forward, not at the floor. Watch the front heel, make sure it's grounded. Front knee should be right on top of the ankle. Coming up on 10 seconds. You have three, two, and one, rest. Grab your lighter set, reverse grip, low row. Palms facing out, row the dumbbells to the ribs. We take off, in, three, two, one, let's go. So again, palms facing out, away from you. Row the dumbbells towards the rib cage. Squeeze your back muscles. Feel those biceps working. These are your pulling muscles. Once you have the move, eyes looking down towards the toes. Tucking that chin, keeping your spine nice and long. Your neck is part of your spine, so you wanna keep it in alignment. You got 10 seconds here. You have three, two, and one. Rest, good. One or two dumbbells in your hands. I'm gonna grab one heavy for some sumo squats. You can hold it from either end like this. Heels and toes out, we drop it down. Three, two, one, let's go. Now, I've been working on my booty journey. So if you're working on your booty journey too, go ahead and sink your hips back behind you and try not to squat straight down, okay? So hips come back and the upper body is around a 45 degree angle, okay? Weight heavy into the heels and then thrust those hips forward. Give those glutes a nice tight squeeze at the top. 10 seconds. You have three, two, one, and rest. Head down to the floor. We got some push-ups coming your way. You can do these on your feet or on your knees. We're gonna bring our hands about mat distance apart. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Elbows are slightly coming back and down. Goal is to get your chest fist distance away. Again, option, drop down to the knees. If you're having trouble with your range of motion with your toes, I'd rather you drop down to the knees to get your chest further to the floor. Take your time. Coming up on 15. Breathe. You have three, 
two, one, and rest. Awesome. Flip on over. We're gonna go into a hip bridge. One heavy or two moderate dumbbells on your hips. Drive those hips up, squeeze the glutes, come back down with control. We take off in three, two, one, let's go. Feet stay shoulder distance apart. Tuck that pelvis under. Drive through your heels. Lift up as high as you can. Slowly release down towards the floor. We're getting into the glutes and the hamstrings, back of the legs. You got 15 seconds. You got three, two, one, and rest. You can keep the dumbbell that you have for lap pullovers. So one dumbbell, create a diamond shape with your hands. You're gonna bring the dumbbell back behind you, squeezing your lap muscles that run down your back as you bring it back up above your chest. Time starts now. Now keep your chin off of your chest. Slight micro bend in the elbows as the dumbbell comes back. The lever comes from the shoulder joint. So keep those arms relatively straight. Keep your back flat on the floor. Press the belly button down. Firm grip on the dumbbell. Couple more seconds. You have three, two, and one, rest. Good. All right, stand on up. We're gonna go into a tempo front squat. I'm gonna grab, why not? Let's grab our heavy weights right here. Load them up. Tempo, slow on the way down, quick on the way up. Time starts. Three, two, one, stand up. Now you can hold the dumbbells like this or like this. Really your preference. So slow on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Your feet are parallel. Ten seconds. You have three, two. One, and rest, good. We got a standing chest press. I'm gonna grab my moderate weight here. Dumbbell at the chest. You're gonna just extend it forward, come back in. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Now you're pressing forward directly in front of the chest. As it comes out, just a slight micro bend in the elbow. I'm not locking out my elbows. So we're getting not only chest, but we're also getting the front of the shoulders. Stand tall, soft bend in those knees. You got 10 seconds here. Whew. And three, two, one and rest. Coming up, RDLs. Grab your heavy weights. Here we go. Feet shoulder distance, hinge from those hips. Dumbbells come to mid shins, stand back up. We take off in three, two, one. Let's go. Hinge from the hips. Dumbbells are brushing the thighs as you come down. Make sure that your back is flat at all points in the RDL, so don't go too far low to the point where you're starting to round. Feel the stretch in the booty, feel the stretch in the hamstrings, and then thrust the hips forward. Coming up on 15. Almost there. Three. 
two, one, and rest. Final move, alternating rows, moderate weights. I call this the single ladies dance. So hip hinge, you're gonna row and switch each time. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Keep in mind this is your last move before your one minute break. So you are officially halfway through the workout. So now the palms are facing in, elbows are still driving up to the ceiling. Chin is looking down. If you wanna have fun with it, pop a knee and you're gonna look like Beyonce's backup dancers. I'm just kidding. Not really though. Keeping that back flat, core in, core tight, booty engaged. 10 seconds. You have three, two, one, and rest. One minute break. Nice job. Grab a quick sip of water, towel down. Goes by fast, right? When you're just changing the moves every single time. Well, listen. You're gonna have completely different exercises in this next block, all right? So let me go ahead and just get a set up for the first move since uh, it's gonna be a kneeling step up. So let's grab one heavy dumbbell. I'm gonna place a towel underneath my knee just for support. So you wanna pretend like this is a box step. You're gonna lean onto the box. As you do, you're gonna drive into the heel Stand up, come back down with control, soft landing for your knee. Okay, you can do one or two dumbbells. I'm just gonna hold on to one heavy. Here we go. Whoop. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Notice how I'm slightly leaning forward into the heel. Coming back down. Now, if you just have bad knees and you can't go that far, just do a reverse lunge. Come as low as you can, and you do not have to go all the way down to the floor. That is okay. I just climbed like a mountain this weekend and getting PTSD from all those steps that we had to do. Three, two, one, and rest. Good. It was basically like box step after box step. We were just going, going, going. So the stuff that we do here applies in our daily lives, right? Three, two, one, let's go. That's, that's functional fitness. Functional fitness basically means you do exercises that exercises that mimic what you do in daily life so that you're actually training for something that is useful and functional, hence the name. But we have to make sure that we are training the right muscles and doing things the right way. Because when we do things like climb a mountain, but we have bad form, that's what leads to injury, right? So we gotta train the right muscles. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, from here, we're gonna go into bicep curls. Grab your moderate weights. Palms facing away, elbows locked into the ribs. As you curl it up, bring it down. Three, two, one, let's go. Again, staggered stance if you wanna take it. Minimize any swinging of the dumbbells. Coming up on 15 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Good. All right, grab one dumbbell for overhead tricep extensions. So right here, holding it like a diamond shape, bring it behind the head, 
squeeze the triceps on the way up. Three, two, one, let's go. Now, keep those elbows nice and tight. Common tendency is they see the elbows playing out like this, so we wanna lock it in. Something else that I see a lot also is rib cage starting to splay out and then this arch happening in our back. So we wanna tuck in the ribs, neutralize the spine. Also chin off your chest, eyes gazing forward. Ten seconds. You have three, two, one, and rest. Good. One dumbbell. Let's go heavy. One heavy dumbbell for a pistol squat. You can hold it like this. Okay. You're gonna come down and then stand up. Three, two, one. Let me explain this. So right heel is forward. You're gonna sink back. Think of it like a single leg squat. Pretend there's like a bench behind you and you're trying to tap the bench with your booty and then you're standing back up. 90% of your weight is in the back leg. 10% of the weight is in your front leg. You can even just tap the toe like this and come down as low as you can. So what this is helping us do is really help us build stabilizer strength in each leg. Keep the knee in line with the toe, heel heavy. You have three, two, one, and rest. Good. So again, other side, you're gonna either have the heel down or you're gonna just tap the toe. You're gonna sink back as far as you can and come back up. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Now you might not get as low if you're doing a traditional squat. That's okay. Single, single leg, single arm, anything is always harder. This is also helping to strengthen our knees, all the tendons, ligaments around the knee joint. Couple more seconds. You got three, two, one, and rest. Good. Zotman curls are next. Grab your moderate weights. Palms facing in towards the body. Curl the dumbbells up, come back down. Three, two, one, let's go. Different sensation for the biceps. Same cues though. Keep those elbows tight. Soft knees. Get your breathing. Feeling nice and toasty now. We're almost there, just a few more minutes. Ten seconds. You have three, two, one, and rest. Good. Alternating tricep kickbacks. So hip hinge position, palms facing in. You're gonna kick it back, come back in with control, and switch. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. So again, the lever is at the elbow joint, okay? So make sure you're not like swinging from the shoulders, okay? That's gonna totally not work the triceps. Try to resist gravity on the way down. So instead of just letting that dumbbell come down like loosely, really slow it down, control the movement. A few more. You have three, two, and one, rest. Single leg deadlifts coming your way. I'm gonna grab one heavy dumbbell. You can grab two moderate. Right leg is gonna come back, right hand has the dumbbell. 
Hinge from the hips, dumbbell comes to the mid chin, stand back up. Time starts now. Find your balance. Whoop. Come back up. You can place the other hand on your hip or out in a T position to the side. If this is too hard for you, take a staggered stance deadlift instead. Take a kickstand and you're gonna hinge from those hips. Hips still come back, soft knees, dumbbell to mid chin. A few more. Now we're isolating the left leg, getting deep into the hamstrings and glutes. And time, good. Let's go ahead, reset, switch sides. So left leg is kicking back. So left hand has the dumbbell, hand is out in a T position or on your hip. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. It's okay if you fall over and get back into it. Really ground down through all four corners of your feet. Again, try not to round the spine. Shoulders back, shoulders back, proud chest. Fifteen seconds. You have three, two, and one. Good. Next up, grab your moderate weights for some bicep platters. So palms facing up. You're gonna extend forward, come back in, and switch. Three, two, one, let's go. Now I'm alternating because this feels tough for me at this point, but if you wanna go both arms at the same time, you certainly can. I'm just like kind of dying right now, so I'm gonna modify. Similar to the standing chest press that we did, you don't want to straighten the elbow all the way. Just a slight bend. Almost there. 10 seconds. You have three, two, and one rest. Woo! Final move. Tricep halos. Holding your moderate weight. Bring it all the way around behind the head and then bring it back and reverse. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. You wanna think about shaving the back of your head all the way around. Keep those elbows nice and tight. This is really good for shoulder mobility, but also tricep work too. You're gonna have to let me know if you like these no repeat workouts because I'm gonna tell you right now, this workout flew by so fast for me. I'm like, oh my gosh, we're already done. 10 seconds. You have three, two, one, and rest. You made it. 24 exercises, no repeats. How do we feel? What was our favorite move? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Please like, comment, and subscribe so that you can get notified every single time I post a new workout video. If you wanna double up because you have more energy, you can take a look at this workout here. It's pretty awesome. And as always, thank you so much for working out with me. I appreciate it and claim your crown.